Assign company's average profit per political yard sign P in dollars can be estimated by using the equation P is equal to negative 2N squared plus 8N, where N is the number of political yard signs in hundreds produced at a time. Use the equation to estimate the average profit per political yard sign if 200 signs are produced at a time. All right, so we're asked to use the equation, and we're told that we have 200 signs. But now be careful, because n is the number of political yard signs in hundreds. So if we have 200 signs, this tells me then that n is equal to 2. So using the equation, we would have p is equal to negative 2 by 2 square plus 8 by 2. Following the order of operations, we would have negative 2 by 4 plus 8 by 2, which is negative 8 plus 16. And so p is equal to 8. So a conclusion. n is 2 if 200 yard signs are produced at one time the average profit per sign is eight dollars. Now we're asked to find the number of political yard, yard signs that must be produced at one time to have an average profit of six dollars per sign. So now we're told that we have the profit of six dollars per sign so we're going to let P equal six. So substituting, we have 6 is equal to negative 2n squared plus 8n. Notice that this is quadratic. We'll subtract 6 from both sides to write the equation in the standard form. So then 0 is equal to negative 2n squared plus 8n minus 6. Now I'm going to start factoring. Uh, focusing on that trinomial, notice that we have a common factor of 2, but I want the lead coefficient after factoring to be positive, so I'm going to factor out a negative 2. So 0 is equal to negative 2 times n squared minus 4n plus 3. Using our inspection method, since we now have a 1n squared, with b equal to negative 4 and c equal to 3, uh, a pair of numbers that multiplies to 3 and adds negative 4 is negative 1 and negative 3. So I can factor this further. 0 is equal to negative 2 by n minus 1 by n minus 3. Using the zero product property, I would have negative 2 is equal to 0, or n minus 1 is equal to 0, or n minus 3 is equal to 0. Now negative 2 can never equal 0, so we throw that away. n minus 1 can equal 0 if, adding 1 to both sides, n equals 1. n minus 3 can equal 0. Adding 3 to both sides, we find that n is equal to 3. So we ended up with two solutions to this equation. So now what does this tell us? To have an average profit of $6 per sign, the company must produce 
100 signs or 300 signs at one time.